So taking the baby out for uh, her birthday dinner. We're gonna try Wahlburgers first. We tried Bisuteki in Cambridge. I know I'm saying that wrong. We did not try it, we made reservations. Yeah, we tried, we made reservations because Amy and I have never officially been on a actual date in the 11 years we've been together. So Bisuteki was the place that she wanted to go to. So I made reservations, but having three kids and all that entails in that, everything we do is a project. So. Needless to say, it's, our reservation was at 7, it's now 8.15 and we're just making it to park to go try to uh, get into Wahlburgers, so we'll let you guys know how it goes if we make it in there. Birthday dinner at Wahlburgers, I thought this was uh, Victoria's Secret, but it's not, but we made it, so we'll see how this place is, we'll let you guys know. Amy got the um, OFD burger. I got the Beast burger, which is pulled pork and a burger in one. And then we got a side of onion rings, and the lady went to go get us fried pickle. This is what happens when we go to Wahlburgers. Everything's gone. Who? Daddy hits play. So, we successfully ate at uh, Wahlburgers, which is right here. It was amazing, and we had an unbelievable time. And we met Adrian. Yeah, and mainly it was because of our waitress. Obviously, Amy and I being together on our first date, especially for her birthday, made it so special. But when we met um, our waitress, she just made us feel so comfortable. Oh, there's Adrian. Oh, she's on YouTube. She's got a new friend. You're on YouTube, Adrian. Yeah, there's Adrian right there. Now there's actually some vlogging going on in this YouTube clip. I'm glad polka I... dog bakery. You have a good time tonight? Yeah, My baby. It's a polka dog bakery. Polka dog. Polka dog. So, using the iPhone and vlogging, here's where I've noticed the biggest issue. So I'm talking to you guys, and I'm using obviously the face camera. Amy's talking about something behind me where a perfect thing to do would be flip the camera over and view it. When you're on the iPhone and you're recording the way I am now with the face cam. Basically we need to get a camera that's smaller than our Nikon. Yeah, which we found. We found the so oh, almost dropped the phone. <laughs> oh, calm down. I thought that was the way out. <laughs> so we did find the camera and we're gonna get it hopefully in February. Save 25. up some money. Yeah. Big twenty five birthday. But here's a tip. When you're recording on the iPhone using the face camera there's no way to flip there it. No cell phone on. So, there's no way to flip it to see what's on the other side without stopping the recording completely. So, there's a little YouTube tip for you today. And lighting sucks on the face cam. But, all right, guys, have a good night. We're going to get the kids and uh, take them home and get those games. Get them games. We have the uh, shitty handheld, uh, what's it called, the uh, the thing you put your phone in, the tripod. We got the shitty one going tonight, I can't find the good one, so. But we're here, it's Wednesday, January 18th, we're doing back. So you all probably seen the um, vlog footage of Wahlberg as Amy's birthday. I think there was a little bit more vlog footage and now you're gonna see our back workout. So we missed last night because Amy has an earache, which uh, I don't even know if she got her antibiotics yet. But if she did, she started them this morning, so the air is still not healing and uh, just takes time, probably five to seven days, then she'll be feeling better. But she said she's feeling it on the weights tonight. They do feel heavy, but it's our first exercise. We're still boosting up. We hit legs on Monday, you guys seen a hundred times. We went heavy with our squats, some rack pulls. And uh, took Tuesday off, now it's Wednesday, we're back. 
hitting back. So we're gonna do the close grip uh, pull downs, the wide grip pull downs, try to get seated row, and uh, a few more back machines y'all will see later on tonight. So I struggled with these bent over barbell rows probably about, about four sets before I realized I needed to bend way over. Um, I put Amy in the middle of the, in the beginning of the clip to notice the difference between a male doing it and a female doing it. She said she was isolating her back, not bending over as much, where I needed to bend over and even have my hands wider than they are right now. So just keep that in mind when you guys are doing bent over rows. Make sure you feel it in your back. So I know the videos haven't been coming out as frequent. Um, the gym has been extremely packed, so it's been hard to get good footage that um, we could actually use. But the seated row machines, there's only two in my gym, and both of them were packed. There were lines actually waiting to be used. So Amy and I came up with our own little system here, which I thought we made up, but apparently is very uh, common. It's a, just a variation of a seated row using the cable machine and uh, the U-shaped handle. Then from there we went to our famous finisher, which is the rope lap pull down. We probably finished with about seven or eight sets of these. Again, the gym was extremely crowded. Filming was hard, getting machines were hard. And using the machines that we already had game planned were taken up. And you guys know with the kids, everything's difficult. Kids play was closed and it was getting late. So we had to make do with what we had, but There'll be another video coming out on Wednesday, so please comment, like, subscribe, and again, I appreciate all the help. We're going to be doing a supplement video real soon, so stay tuned.